हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू स्पॉटिंग लर्नर सो दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट करियर रिलेटेड वीडियो ऑन दी चैनल दिस वीडियो विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर क्लास इलेवंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट्स हुव ऑप्टेड फॉर साइंस स्ट्रीम बीट मेडिकल और नॉन मेडिकल सो टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद यू सम इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट आई सर ए आई डब्ल्यू ए यू जी नाउ आई सर स्टैंड फॉर इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी ऑल अबाउट द एग्रीकल्चर कोर्सेज अवेलेबल इन इंडिया एट अंडर ग्रेजुएट लेवल now according to me agriculture is a great career opportunity on the horizon and if you have the right kind of information and knowledge on how to go about it in the future then i think you can make a wonderful career out of it so now let's begin and talk about indian council of agriculture research now icer is the apex body for coordinating guiding and managing the research and education in agriculture in india and uh, icer au system that is icer agricultural university system of india has 74 agricultural universities comprising of 63 state agricultural veterinary horticultural and fisheries universities saus that is the state agricultural universities four icer dus icer deemed universities which include iari that iari which is indian agricultural research institute in new delhi IVRI which is Indian Veterinary Research Institute in Bareilly UP IVRI NDRI that is National Dairy Research Institute in Karnal Haryana CIFE that is Central Institute of Fisheries Education this is also in Haryana Now the next category is of uh, three central universities which include CAU Imphal that is Central Agricultural Universities Dr R P C A U that is Dr Rajendra Prasad Central Agricultural University and R L B C A U that is Rani Lakshmi Bai Central Agricultural University in Jhansi Next is the uh, four central universities CUs having Faculty of Agriculture which include bhu that is banaras hindu university amu that is aligarh muslim university vishva bharati and nagaland university now these are very reputed government universities and the quality of education and research and the facilities available are just top notch so now the question arises that which uh, entrance exam you need to take for this uh, uh, for getting into these universities so AIEA UG All India Entrance Examination for Admission AIEA UG shall be conducted for admission to bachelor degree program in agriculture and allied sciences so this is the exam this is an all india exam and uh, this will be conducted in 178 cities all over the country now this exam is actually conducted by nta which is the national testing agency indian council of agricultural research has entrusted the responsibility of conducting this exam to nta now nta is also conducting your uh, neet various exams are conducted by nta one of them is neet now can you get into um, you know these agricultural universities and uh, institutes mentioned without qualifying icer aiwa ug no the answer is no there is no provision for direct admission for admission through icer in any bachelor degree program without qualifying icer aie e a ug so this exam is very important for you so you should uh, you must take it seriously now talking about the degree programs for admission in all india entrance examination for admission in undergraduate level in 2020 so there are 11 bachelor degree courses or degree programs available which include bsc honors agriculture bsc honors horticulture bfsc which is bachelor of fishery sciences bsc honors forestry bsc honors community sciences food nutrition and dietics bsc honors uh, sericulture sericulture is basically rearing of silk worms to obtain silk right uh, there are four btech courses also available btech agricultural engineering btech dairy technology btech food technology and btech biotechnology so both bsc and btech courses are available now talking about the eligibility criteria and the qualifications Uh, whether or not you are eligible to sit in the entrance exam and uh, what are the qualifications that you need to have 
Now, first is that you must have passed ten plus two senior secondary examination of uh, CBSC, that is Central Board of Secondary Education, or any other examination within the scope and standard found to be equivalent to the senior secondary examination at recognized Indian board or university. So, you must have passed uh, this ten plus two. Okay. Now, candidates must have passed one of the qualifying examinations enumerated above, securing not less than fifty percent marks. So, talking about the marks in aggregate, you should have minimum at least fifty percent marks in aggregate for general OBC NCL, that is non-creamy layer, UPS, that is underprivileged section, EWS, that is economically weaker sections. So, for these categories, your mark should be at least fifty percent in aggregate. Even if it is forty nine point nine, it is not acceptable. You are not eligible then. Okay, and not less than forty percent marks in aggregate for SC, ST, transgender, and PWD categories. Now the third is that uh, candidates having a compartment or supplementary in any of the subjects will not be eligible. So you should not have any compartment or any supplementary. And uh, candidates already appeared in the qualifying examination enumerated above also can apply, but would be required to submit evidence of having satisfied the conditions latest at the time of counselling or admission in the allotted university. Right. So now uh, you should read the eligibility and. Uh, Now there is uh, the information bulletin for 2020 released by ICER NTA. I will just uh, show you the website. I will also link the website of ICER and ICER NTA in the description box and also the link to the information bulletin. Let me just show you the website and the information bulletin. Now this is the website of ICER ICER dot org dot in. This is the official website for ICER NTA, ICER dot NTA dot NIC dot uh, in. Now here is the information bulletin. So you you will find the information bulletin over here, and this is what the information bulletin looks like. Yeah. So this is what the information bulletin uh, looks like, and you will find all the information on this bulletin regarding each and everything. So this is the information, right? About ICER, about NTA, and then about uh, the schedule of the examination, scheme of the examination, syllabus. I have covered this in very short in the video, but you must go through all this to find the information in detail. Now there are annexures also. At the last, there are some annexures which you should go through very very carefully. So these are the states and the code numbers for the states in which the exam will be conducted. Now there is an extension or revision of the dates for the submission of online applications for uh, uh, you know this uh, ICER exam. Now the date has been extended till fifteenth of May two thousand and twenty. So still you have time. You can actually apply for this by today. By fifteenth uh, May. Now let's talk about the age limit. So you should be at least sixteen years of age as on thirty uh, first August two thousand and twenty. So for uh, appearing for this year, you should be at least sixteen years of age uh, on this date, right? And. Uh, So, if you are less than sixteen years of age uh, by thirty first August two thousand twenty, you are not actually eligible for the exam, and there is no upper limit. So, if you are dropper, then also you can apply. But the minimum age limit, there is no relaxation in the minimum age limit. You should be at least, you must be at least sixteen years of age. Now, talking about the subjects which the candidate must have passed in ten plus two examination and the subjects to be attempted in the entrance exam, in the various degree programs for admission. Now, for example, you want to apply for B.Sc. Honors in Agriculture. Then, which group of students can apply for this exam? P.C.B. students can apply. That is Physics, Chemistry, Bio. 
then PCMB group students having physics, chemistry, maths, and bio. So both maths and bio students can also apply. Those who are not having bio, they are having PCM. So PCM group can also apply. And inter agriculture, agriculture group students who have studied agriculture as one of their subjects in eleventh and twelfth, they can also apply. And the subjects to be attempted in the entrance examination. So you have to attempt three subjects. PCB or PCM or PCA that is physics, chemistry, agriculture or ABC that is agriculture, biology and chemistry. So depending upon what subjects you have passed in uh, your class eleventh and twelfth, depending on that you you should attempt the subjects in the exam. Same goes for BSc horticulture. Now, if we talk about B.Sc. Sericulture, for example, then agriculture group students cannot apply for this course. Only P.C.B. group, P.C.M.B. group, P.C.M. group. These three groups can apply. And uh, the subjects to be attempted are P.C.B. or P.C.M. Right. So now, talking about the B.Tech courses, the three B.Tech courses: B.Tech Agriculture Engineering, B.Tech Dairy Technology, and B.Tech Food Technology. Which group of students can apply PCM or PCMB group? So for these three courses, you must have maths. PCB group cannot apply. Those students who have physics, chemistry, biology, and no maths, those students cannot apply in this. And uh, the subject to be attempted is PCM. So PCMB students, you don't have a choice between maths and biology. You have to attempt maths. Okay. But then uh, B Tech in Biotechnology. This you have a choice. P C M group can apply. P C M B group can also apply, and P C B group. These three groups can apply, and P C M or P C B you have a choice between these two. So now let's move on to the scheme of examination. Now the mode of the examination will be C B T. That is, it is a computer-based test. Duration is two and a half hours. Number of questions to be attempted in these two and a half hours is one fifty. So three subjects you have to attempt. So fifty questions will be there from each subject. Right. So the type of questions will be multiple choice with four options. Scoring will be like four marks for each correct response and minus one for each incorrect response. So there is a negative marking that you need to be very careful about. And zero for non-attempt. So the maximum marks for the question paper for the test will be six hundred marks. That is one fifty into four, right? Six hundred. Medium of paper will be English and Hindi. So the language in which the questions will be there will be English and Hindi. Now each candidate has to attempt, opt, or choose only three subjects. That is PCB or PCM or PCA or ABC in the examination as per choice in the application form. So whatever choice you have filled in the application form, only those subjects you have to appear, or uh, only those subjects you have to attempt in the examination. You cannot change it at the time of examination. Whatever you have filled in the application form, you are supposed to attempt that in the examination. now there is a scholarship also available the scholarship uh, nts national talent scholarship which is uh, of rupees 2000 per student for bachelor that is undergraduate program and 3000 per student for masters post graduate program now there are certain uh, conditions for this scholarship uh, you can read the conditions in the information bulletin